This is a 2000 F350 Super Duty XL utility truck. Has 192,000 on it. It's got a problem with the air conditioner kicking out. And it looks like the gap's too big for the clutch to engage properly. So I'm going to close it up to about 20 thousandths of an inch. I can check that. I can go ahead and turn the switch on and set it on AC. And that should close up. If it don't, you come out and push on it. And see if it does and if it does it's got too big a gap or you can just check it with a filler gauge i've got that set on maximum ac in a cab the fans on any position now it's not closing up but if i help it out it will so it's just too big a gap if it gets close enough it'll draw it in Anyway, I gotta take take the tire tool off, this butterfly off to get the tire tool out of the way. Take this bolt, take the puke tank up. There's two bolts down here to get access to the clutch pulley. I just turned the, the overflow tank at an angle over top of the compressor clutch plate. Got a 5 16th bolt in the center and he's taken loose. You can engage the clutch and break it loose if you want. I've taken the little bolt out of the center of it and turned the switch off so the clutch plate's released. There's going to be some washers behind this and that's what I want to target to remove one of those washers to see if I can close that gap up some. Keep your splines facing up and you take it off in case the washers just don't fall out but keep the washers from falling out i don't know maybe that plate's kind of wore out pretty good i'm going to take a pick and pick the washers out Get a little more life out of it. There was one washer down in there in it. Uh, if it acts up again, usually when it's worn into these pins, it's pretty much about done. I ought to get a little more life out of it. But it should be replaced if you can. That's the clearance got in it now with the washer removed. That's about 12 thousandths. Let's see if it engages by itself when I turn the switch on. Yeah, that worked good. I'm gonna turn the switch off. get it back in business for a while until I get a new one put in it I guess as long as it's not touching this while it's running you don't hear any scraping noise if it's too close you'll either have to ground the existing washer down to half its thickness or replace this whole clutch assembly 
All right, I'm sick half an hour, so it's gonna work. That bolt tightens down to 123 inch pounds. Should keep it in place. I'm gonna go ahead and dry the compressor wheel off of it and out of the hole before I put it back on there. I'm just going to go ahead and engage the compressor clutch and tighten it down and let the motor hold it. Okay, it's tight. Should be back in business. Get my spacer up from underneath the overflow tank. Back down, and you're back in business. 